B. We're making more roster moves to our active roster already. Going to break down this signing of Christian Welsh here in just a minute. Y'all be sure to let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. Please like and subscribe. But I think this is a nice addition, not only to special teams, but of course to the linebacker room, uh, bringing in Christian Welsh. Uh, we did cut one of our undrafted free agent uh, signings that initially made the roster, and that was Lavelle Bailey, who had that spectacular pick six to end essentially in the game against the Cardinals on Sunday. But my guess is that we're going to attempt to retain him on the practice squad. That is my hope. I really want to keep him around, but I do think that this is an upgrade. Somebody that has a little bit more experience, both in special teams and at the linebacker position. So let's go ahead and just uh, get into it. Okay, this is courtesy of DenverBroncos.com. We signed Christian Welsh. And just want to highlight a few different things. Again, we did wave Lavelle Bailey, so I'm going to assume that we moved to keep him on the practice squad. But Welsh, great size linebacker, six foot three, 240 pounds, 57 games during his four-year career so far. Initially started with Baltimore for three seasons and then played 14 games for the Packers. So, again, we're bringing in a guy – if we're just looking at the statistics production, somebody who has played zero NFL regular season games, bringing in a guy with substantial experience, 57 games played out of Iowa, just like Josie Jewell. Um, the Iowa product has tallied 27 career tackles. Uh, that's great, especially if he's primarily going to be playing in a special teams role for us during his career. Welsh has played at least 60% of the special team snaps across the games in which he's appeared. In 2021, he played a career-high 382 special team snaps for Baltimore. In the 2024 preseason, what we just finished up right now, Welsh led the Packers with 16 tackles and tied the NFL lead with two interceptions. He also recovered a fumble, recorded a tackle for a loss, and notched three passes defense. The Broncos got an up-close look at Welsh during the preseason as he posted six tackles, one tackle for a loss, and an interception uh, in a pass defense uh, against Denver in the team's preseason meeting just a couple weeks ago. And so, uh, again, guys, what kind of signing does this remind me of in some ways? Again, at a little bit different part of the off season or anything prior to the regular season than when we signed a few years ago, Alex Singleton. But what was Alex Singleton mainly doing when he was with the Philadelphia Eagles? He was mainly playing special teams. And we saw George Payton, the scouting department, really be very keen on signing him. And this, this kind of signing reminds me of Alex Singleton in this fashion. Somebody who has proven himself on special teams the last four seasons. And we started to see some glimpses of what he can do from an inside linebacker perspective, uh, specifically this preseason. And I think his performance against them uh, here in Denver just a few weeks ago really went a long way. So when he got cut, the Broncos were like, hey, let's go get this guy. I think he's got more uh, upside in terms of being immediately able to play on the field. Again, with the rookies, preseason's one thing. Regular season is another. Uh, this guy is prepared definitely on special teams uh, to contribute right away. And uh, we'll have to see. Maybe he is given the opportunity to spell at inside linebacker as well. Right now, of course, we got Alex Singleton and Cody Barton as those starting linebackers. But then it's just Justin Sternod. And now we got uh, Welsh coming over here. So I, I like this signing, especially if we're able to keep Lavelle Bailey on the practice squad. I think that's ideal. But this is a player that I see as somebody who should be able to contribute more week one uh, than uh, Lavelle Bailey, although there's plenty of upside there, right? I love the focus on special teams. We had one of the best special teams units last year, and it's signings like this that help it remain one of the best in the NFL, if not the best. So win for Sean Payton, win for the 
front office. Now we got to see like how this plays out. But uh, with what I've read and uh, with what I remember seeing a couple weeks ago, I think that this is a fantastic roster signing. No doubt about it. So I'm going to continue on with some film reviews here uh, over the weekend. Uh, thank you so for your patience, guys, as I get my new space uh, set up. So you'll start to see what I got going on here uh, very quickly. But of course, y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Greatly appreciate you guys in the community. As always, go Broncos.